What is wrong with you? Are you stupid? I didn't see you. I'm so sorry. You pulled right out in front of me. What, you didn't see that big bike with a bright headlight shining right at you? I'm sorry. Yeah, a lot of good that does me now. I can't believe this. I gotta show you some things, kid. And you need to listen. Listen good. Don't forget anything that I'm gonna say. No, no, no I won't. I won't forget. I don't think we got much time. Get in. Trust me, kid. Just hit the gas and keep going left. Pull over in that spot. See those cars and trucks coming towards us down the road, kid? How fast are they going? Um, I don't know, maybe 35, 40 miles an hour? Yeah, that's about right. Keep looking at the road, kid. Now, see that motorcycle way in the distance? How fast is that going? Uh, I have no idea. Keep looking. I have no idea. It's hard to tell. Exactly, kid. Exactly. That bike is much smaller than a car. You get me, buddy? Much smaller. Makes it tough to judge its speed and distance. You see where I'm going? Whenever you see that single headlight or two headlights close together, you have got to give it some extra space. Simple rule, kid. Look twice. Before you ever pull out, before you ever do anything around a bike, you have got to look twice. Look twice. Got it. All right. Back out on the road, kid. Follow that bike. Give him a little breathing space. You see that tail light? How big is it? It looks pretty small from here. Exactly. And you know what else? Because those tail lights are always on, it it's a heck of a lot harder to notice when they put on their brakes, <laughs> especially in the daytime. See what he did there? Moved his bike over so he can be seen by the car ahead of him. It's easy enough for a car to get lost in a blind spot, even easier for a motorcycle. That's why you have to be sure there's nobody there before you ever change lanes. Something tells me we don't have a lot of time left, kid. Ah, you're doing good. Might be hope for you yet. Take a left up at the next light. Big Bear! Wild Bill! Hey, buddy. Nice ride, man. Why aren't you on your bike? Big Bear! Wild Bill! Dog! Teaching the kid how to drive around bikes. See you later. Look at that! Bikes accelerate so much faster than cars, and they brake faster than most cars, too, so don't ever get too close. We gotta get back. Motorcycles are vulnerable around any kind of car, kid. A little dent for you could be something horrible for us. Doesn't matter who's at fault, the rider always gets the worst of it. I got it. Serious injury or even death. I got it, seriously. <laughs> I got it, Big Bear. <laughs> Call me Randy, kid. Randy? Big Bear fits you better. Your name's Randy, huh? Since the day I was born. Since the day I was born. You got a name, kid? Ian. It's Ian. Ian. You're all right, Ian. <laughs> Makes this all the harder. Don't go back to your bike, Big Bear. Got to. You need to get in your car. Now. 
Just stay. We can change what's Don't work that way, kid. Ian, remember, look, look twice. I got it. Everybody makes mistakes, but mistakes like Ian made happen way too often. Even a simple mistake that causes a dent to a car can kill a rider. We need your help making our road safer for motorcyclists. I'm a mom and I'm a rider. I train on the racetrack to improve my skills so I can be safer on the street and get home to my family. Thanks for watching this video and thanks for watching out for me and doing your part to help me get home safely. Hey guys. Whether two wheels or four, training is everything. It gives us the skills to be safer out on the street. You know, inside your car is somebody's son or daughter. Under our helmets are somebody's brother, sister, friend, or... Daddy! And daddy. We all have a lot of choices to make out there on the road. So train hard, drive well, and please, for Randy and Ian's sake, for your sake, and for ours. Make your choices, good ones. Thanks.